Hey guys, this is Paul and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first look at the brand new iPad Pro. Here I have the 11 inch model and I also have the new Apple Pencil with me. Now I wasn't planning on purchasing these but right after the Apple event I decided to pull the trigger because I think these are two of the most creative and innovative products Apple has released in a long time and I think these new iPad Pros in particular are gonna be a huge leap forward for the tablet market as a whole. But before we get into this unboxing, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, ESR, and they were actually kind enough to send me a few cases that we're gonna test out at the end of this video. All right, so we'll just go ahead and take off the plastic wrap here and set that aside. And I'm actually a big fan of this packaging. It obviously puts that big screen of the iPad Pro on display here. And the first thing we see when we open it up is just the tablet itself. And we'll set that aside for just a second. Then we have just your standard Apple documentation and stickers in here. And for the first time ever, this iPad is going to be using USB charging. So we have our power brick and our charging cable. And I guess that's everything that's in the box. So. We'll just put this back and take a look at the iPad itself. We'll go ahead and take off the plastic wrap. Ah, beautiful. And there's the tablet itself. And the first thing I actually notice is how light this tablet is. I didn't have the old iPad Pro, so I don't really have a reference for how heavy this thing should be, but it's actually really surprising. It's a lot lighter than you might think it is. And on the Apple website, it says it's just over a pound. So it actually is really light. And it's also extremely thin. It's just under six millimeters, which is crazy for a device that's this powerful. I also noticed the tablet just feels a little bit sharper around the edges than you might expect from an iPad. And I personally like that. It kind of resembles uh, the design of a MacBook but I think it makes it look really futuristic and clean. And there is a big camera bump on the back here, but when I light a device flat on the table, it doesn't rock back and forth, so that's not too much of a problem. All right, now we'll go ahead and take a quick look at the Apple Pencil. All right, so it just slides out. Have your standard Apple manuals once again, and right here is the pencil itself. And right away, I'm a big fan of the design of this pencil. It now has a matte coating, and you'll see it's flat on the side where it now magnetically connects to the iPad and wirelessly charges. All right, now I'll just go ahead and turn the device on and get it set up and ready to use. All right, now we're setting up Face ID. This is the first iPad that uses Face ID, and I wasn't a fan of it on the iPhone 10, but I guess we'll see how I like it here. All right, that's it, two scans and we're done. So now that it's all set up, I think we can go ahead and pair the pencil. So we just put it on the side there and connect it. And I forgot that it has this new double tap feature that you can use to switch between tools in different applications. So you can just write anything here and then quickly change to the eraser just with a double tap, which is really nice. And as soon as you connect it now, you'll see its battery percentage pop up and you'll know that it's charging. So really quickly, I wanna test out the Apple Pencil in notes here. So we'll just start a new note here and pick which marker we wanna write with. So there's almost no latency whatsoever, which is gonna be really nice for anybody who does a lot of note taking or drawing on their iPad. So now we're gonna take a quick look at these three cases from ESR. I'd like to thank them again for sponsoring this video and sending these cases out to take a look at. So this first one is called the Urban Premium Folio. So we'll go ahead and just slide this iPad in. So this looks like your standard folio case. Uh, it has a smart cover and when you open it up, you can prop the iPad up like this for uh, two different viewing angles. And it also has a little holder right on the side for the Apple Pencil. And now we're gonna take a look at this Yippee Trifold Smart Case, which is kind of like your traditional iPad smart cover. And then, like I said, it's just your standard folio case. So it has the smart cover that 
turns on and turns off the screen whenever you open it. And you can fold this cover back into a little stand here and have it set up like this. And the last case we're gonna take a look at is the Urban Premium Folio Case. And right away, this one has a much more premium look and feel. Uh, it looks a little bit more professional, maybe something you could take to work. And this one has a similar stand to that first one we took a look at. So there's two different viewing angles. These cases all look really nice. You have a few different style choices to choose from and they're all under $20. So if you're interested, I'll leave all the links in the description down below. So those were some of my first impressions of the new iPad Pro. And I have several more videos planned with this thing, but I think the main question that needs to be answered is whether or not it's worth $800, which is crazy expensive for a tablet. So I'll try to figure that out in the next few weeks and update you guys in my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.